Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and I just happened to be walking out through the greenhouses today and was really noticing all the beautiful fall foliage on the shrubs. So a lot of times when we buy shrubs, we think about the flower interest, but we don't always take it to the next step of what interest might they give me for fall. So I'm just gonna do some quick little um, shots of some of the beautiful shrubs here that are showing uh, fall color that you may not necessarily think of as fall foliage colored shrubs. The first one we have here is the Firelight Tidbit. I'm in the greenhouse and these are some of our gallon shrubs right now. And Firelight Tidbit, you can see that it's got a little bit of flower going on, but it's also getting some really nice bronzy uh, foliage. So not only does it have the beautiful flower, you can look for some bronzy foliage. Another one that is quite remarkable is the Little Quick Fire. Look at all that nearly black foliage here on the Little Quick Fire. We'll go in for a closer look and you can see that the green leaves have now turned kind of a burgundy black color. So really a unique fall interest when you're considering the Little Quick Fire hydrangea. One that's more known for its interesting fall foliage is the oak leaf hydrangea. So typically, yes, these do get fall foliage color and it is something that people often think about. But I wanted to show you here, here's Gatsby's Gale and it is really putting on a beautiful fall show right now. It's quite cold this morning and there's definitely a haze in these greenhouses, almost like a little bit of a morning dew, morning frost. Uh, but let's take a look here in this greenhouse and see what's giving us some fall color. First one we're going to look at here in this greenhouse is Arctic Fire Red. Not only does this have great red twigs in the winter, but it also has beautiful red foliage in the fall. Not to be outdone by Arctic Fire Red is the Arctic Sun. Arctic Sun is a beautiful yellow twig dogwood, which also gives fiery reddish orange foliage in the fall. I see a little Henry is one of the shrubs that I would think of fall foliage color. And you can see here in the greenhouse, it is just starting to turn, kind of taking on a little bit of a burgundy appearance. And as these continue to uh, fade or get, get even more interesting for fall, they're gonna turn bright red. So I see a little Henry is a great um, spring bloomer and wonderful fall show of color. Now I know by November most of the smooth hydrangeas are finished blooming, but because I am out in the greenhouse and these are flowering, I just wanted to show you the pretty little blooms. Here we have the Invincible Limetta, followed by Invincible Ruby, really beautiful pink blooms. Wee White. And invincible uh, here's more invincible wee white uh, one thing you will notice with wee white and this is a great way to really point it out is wee white has white flowers but they also as they're just emerging they do have a little bit of a blush color to them so you will see a little bit of a bicolor look on your invincible wee whites it's not a pure white flowering um, compact hydrangea. If you're looking for more of that pure white to lime color, that's where limetta would come into play. We'll cross the aisle here and just take a look here at mini mauvette, which isn't really flowering much right now, but you can see that mini mauvette also is really showing on some of the pretty fall color. And we'll finish it off with these beautiful, incredible blush blooms. So again, these wouldn't be normally blooming in November here in Michigan, but because we are in the greenhouse, that's why we're seeing these pretty little blooms. Um, we'll just keep walking because this is quite a colorful greenhouse. The next one we're coming across is the Double Play Doozy Spirea. And look at all those beautiful red tips. Now that's not necessarily something indicating fall, that's indicating new growth on these plants. So Double Play Doozy, as new growth emerges, you're gonna see these beautiful little red tips. And then when it does go to flower, it's got really pretty red blooms. We'll head over to the next greenhouse. Here's another great fall foliage plant, Viburnum Blue Muffin. As we're out here looking at the fall foliage, here we have the Let's Dance 
Big Ban. This is a big leaf hydrangea, and you can see it's getting some really nice burgundy coloration on it. And it's always fun when we see some bonus blooms. So bonus blooms are blooms that are blooming at an atypical time, which these are in the greenhouse. And just look at these beautiful blooms here of the Let's Dance Big Ban. Really large blooms, nice pink, kind of a deep pink habit. Um, so that's really pretty. Not only does it have this great fall foliage, but we're seeing a little bit of what the bloom colors look like as well. With so many big hydrangeas that we carry, I'm walking through the greenhouses, and the one I think that right now is most striking to me as far as fall foliage is this wee bit giddy. So look at that, very vibrant red coloration. Uh, so it was green to start off, and then it kind of was a little bit yellow, but there's a lot of burgundy going on. And again, wee bit giddy is giving us a bonus bloom. So here you can see what these beautiful flowers look like, along with this fall foliage color. Now again, understand we're in the greenhouse, so you're not gonna be seeing the flowers this late in the season in your own garden. Aronia Low Skate Mound also has fabulous fall foliage. And uh, just, it's almost like a burning bush with the bright reds and yellows. Aronia is a, a ground cover. Low Skate Mound is a mounding ground cover. And it does get little white flowers on it in the spring. So this plant not only has this beautiful intense fall foliage but it also has wonderful flowers in the spring let's go see what else we can find out in these greenhouses with great fall color here we have the bottle brush or the father Jella. this is the legend of the fall look at that intense color this is a great plant for not only uh, beautiful flowers in the spring but once again it's got great fall color so I always really love these shrubs that kind of give you what I like to call a twofer. They give you the beautiful flowers during the season, the growing season, and then they reward you with beautiful foliage color in the fall. Hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, some of the plants that maybe you wouldn't typically think of that will give you beautiful fall colors. Uh, if there's any plants that you're curious about, if they have great fall colors, send me a message below and I can let you, or maybe even go take a picture out in the greenhouse and let you see what the fall color might be. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings showing you today beautiful colors of fall.